it is the now time for us to announce uh, the EEF Modern Healthcare Global Excellence Awards 2021. And uh, the awardees are requested to give a one minute brief acceptance speech after a brief uh, citation. So may I now request uh, Mr. Anil Rasdan, former Secretary Power, Government of India and Chairman of the EEF to honor the outstanding eminent personalities of the healthcare sector by presenting this prestigious EEF Modern Healthcare Global Excellence Awards uh, 2021. The prestigious Excellence Award uh, is being uh, first conferred to Mrs. Preeti Sudan. She belongs to the civil services uh, in India and she has been an uh, IS officer of uh, the 1983 batch from Andhra Pradesh Kader. She retired as Secretary, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India on 31st of July, 2020, after nearly three fruitful and successful years, especially the last six months during which she was at the forefront in tackling the COVID-19 pandemic. She has in the past successfully handled outbreaks of diseases like uh, Nipah and Zika in different parts of the country. And amongst her notable contributions to policy have been initiating and implementing two major flagship programs of the country, that is Beti Bachao, Beti Parhao, Ayushman Bharat, uh, which is, of course, the world's largest uh, government-funded universal health coverage scheme with the twin pillars, cashless free hospitalization for the 500 million needy, and also pre free preventive and promotive primary health care for all through health and wellness centers, legislation on National Medical Commission that will bring in major improvements in med medical education and legislation on ban of e-cigarettes. Ms. Preeti Sudhan made significant outstanding contribution towards the healthcare sector. So the EEF Modern Healthcare recognizes her excellent contribution in the healthcare sector and confers her the EEF Modern Healthcare Global Excellence Award 2021. Ms. Preeti Sudhan, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Though I am uh, both honored and embarrassed because I feel I just did my duty and uh, I'm grateful that I got an opportunity to serve my nation and it could not have been done alone. It was the teamwork and work of many, many people who my colleagues uh, our um, seniors, our uh, doctors, our, uh, you know, uh, healthcare professionals and everybody uh, who made this journey very fruitful, not only in uh, my tenure as health secretary, but also in my entire uh, service of 37 years. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Preeti. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I can inform the, I congratulate you and also would like to inform the audience that maybe I think a decade later she succeeded me as a subdivisional officer in District yes, Ambala. And yes, uh, I did. that particular subdivision, I also had my block training in a primary health center and I know the kind of excellent rapport which a health worker mm -hmm. can have for development because it was the first block in the country to have covered 100% family planning during the emergency years. Thank you very much, Preeti. And I Thank think you. you've done all of us proud and the nation proud. Thank you Thank very you, much Thank and you congratulations. Much. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, ma'am. Very many congratulations. And uh, let me announce the next winner. Of course, it is Professor Dr. Randeep Guleria, Director, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. He is the first DM in pulmonary medicine in the country. Dr. Guleria, recipient of several awards and honors, including the prestigious Padma Shri in 2015. And Dr. R.C. Roy awards for eminent medical person, Himachal Gaurav Puraskar, Swast Bharat Samman, and recently Doctor of the Decade Award by the Indian Medical Association and also the National Excellence Awards. Of course, the list is long. More than 450 publications, 49 chapters, 50 research grants, and more than 300 invited lectures. Dr. Galeria is uh, the personal physician to the Prime Minister of India from 1998 to 2004, and many national and international dignitaries. He is the advisor and consultant to various international and national bodies, including the WHO, Geneva, 
and IAEA Vienna. So Dr. Valeria also made significant outstanding contribution in healthcare sector. The EF Modern Healthcare recognizes his excellent contribution in the healthcare sector and confers him the EEF Modern Healthcare Global Excellence Award 2021. Dr. Randeep Guleria, very many congratulations. Sir? Thank you very much. And I'm really, I would say, honored and uh, as uh, Madam Preeti Susan said, embarrassed also a little bit to get the award because all of us have been doing our job. And I would like to dedicate this award to all my COVID warriors who are still fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. This is something that we've been doing and uh, we, we all consider it a challenge that we have taken and would continue to do so. Also, as has been said, this is part of my job. I am a, a doctor, I'm a pulmonologist, so I deal with respiratory problems and uh, it's so, the pandemic is also predominantly a virus which causes respiratory problems. So if I've been just doing what I thought I could do in the best way possible, and uh, thank you very much for considering me for this award. I'm really honored and uh, thank Congratulations, you. Dr. Guleria. And I think the uh, institution and the country is really honored to have you at the helm of affairs in this pandemic. You've done a great, great job and we're proud of you as a country. And I think your contribution can never be emphasized appropriately. Congratulations to you and your team, your own yes. representative of the entire health workforce of the country, both of you. Thank you very much. Congratulations, you. Dr. Guleria, from my side also, and a huge God bless. Thank you, ma'am. We, we both worked as, <laughs> as a team. Really, Congratulations, um, Professor Guleria. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much and congratulations uh, to uh, Dr. Guleria. And also, I would invite uh, the next uh, awardee, Dr. Girdhar J. Gyani. Dr. Gyani is currently working as Director General, Association of Healthcare Providers India. He is widely recognized as founder of Healthcare Quality in India. During his tenure as Secretary General, Quality Council of India, Dr. Gyani played a pivotal role in the formulation and operating of National Accreditation Board for Hospitals and Healthcare Providers, that is NABH, for the first time in the country. He functioned as the founder CEO of NABH till he superannuated in July 2012. And during this period, about 200 leading hospitals in the country got accredited and uh, providing boost to the medical tourism. Dr. Gyani is the recipient of numerous awards and recognitions, including three lifetime achievement awards by leading organizations. Healthcare Executive Mag Magazine gave him uh, the title of uh, Chanakya of Quality. The EF Modern Healthcare recognizes his lifelong outstanding contribution in the healthcare sector and confers him the EF Modern Healthcare Global Lifetime Achievement Excellence Award 2021. Dr. Girdhar Gyani, congratulations. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, the outset, let me uh, thank uh, the President of the uh, World Health Conference and Expo, uh, Professor Ahit Garb, <coughs> and also the, our senior, you know, the bureaucrats, uh, Ms. Ali Ghazan, for confirming me on this award. Uh, I must tell you that uh, I got associated in the healthcare in 1998 when NADL was in the formative stage and that came after my training in United Kingdom by Government of India on the healthcare quality. But my actual breakthrough came in 2004 when Mr. Hota, that time Secretary of Health, invited me that can we do something, how do we improve the healthcare quality and establish the framework in our country. And that was the challenging task. I, I think I was privileged to be in that position and with the help of at that time, I remember six senior doctors who came together and started working on this journey of healthcare quality, which came through NADH. So, this is the journey which I am continuing even by superannuation because the new form association requested me to take care of the advocacy issues with the government because having served in government for 25 years. 
Uh, although at this point of time, sometimes I have to fight with the government. I am not the only one fight, but I do that advocacy. But my main emphasis is now how do we build capacity into the Indian healthcare system? And I am rather privileged that I am being given the award. Uh, along with the two stalwarts of the country today, Madam Piki and, of course, Professor Randi Bileria. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Uh, let me announce the award for Ms. Heather. It is the EF Modern Healthcare Global Women Leadership Award 2021. And a little bit about uh, Ms. Heather and uh, her contribution to the field of healthcare. She's the founder and chief executive officer of uh, the Consensus uh, Health, a spin off from Consensus AG effective uh, March 2020. She chairs the IEE SA Open Standard uh, Development uh, Working Group, that is the Blockchain in Healthcare and Life Sciences. She's also the co founder and board chair of Blockchain in Healthcare Global, uh, that is BIHG. Ms. Plenary has served as industry faculty for the United States Department of Health and the Human Services Office of the National Coordinator for Health IT and is an active consultant and advisor. Ms. Plenary also founded and led Obesity Prevention Policy and Management Inc., an uh, innovative uh, provider of disease management, population health, research administration, and information technology managed services for health systems in the Americas, and an early adopter of blo blockchain technology. Melissa uh, Flannery has uh, driven business model innovation via technology early adoption throughout her 25-year career as an entrepreneur, technologist, and strategist. She has consulted in the public sector in the context of international development, bringing a global health perspective to her work. Ms. Flannery demonstrated as an outstanding international leader in blockchain in healthcare. So the EF Modern Healthcare recognizes her excellent contribution and leadership role in the healthcare sector and confers her the EEF Modern Healthcare Global Woman Leadership Award 2021. Congratulations, Ms. Ida. RTS, congratulations, madam. And this award will be courier to you on your address. And this is time to give your ex brief acceptance speech, please. Oh my, oh my goodness. I am, uh, I'm, I'm incredibly humbled and honored by, by the recognition. Uh, it, it means a great deal to me and, and I can't thank you all enough. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is about all of the other extraordinary women that I'm honored to work with and that I know and who inspire me every day and all the wonderful men uh, and colleagues uh, of, of every, every gender and race and religious origin um, and demography and geography and, <laughs> and, and you name it. Um, I, think, I, I think part of celebrating the contributions of particular, uh, particular groups of people, be they women or any other demographic segment, really gets to the idea of, of what happens in human cultures that value diversity, diversity of thought, opinions, experience, backgrounds, and how the, the diversity of humanity can come together to be more creative, more innovative, to have more potential to solve the audacious challenges that face humanity today. Uh, and and when, we, when we remember that it's not about just women, we live in families, we live in communities, we live in, we live in nations, and we're all spinning around at, you know, 35,000 miles on the same rock out in outer space. <laughs> we're all, we're all one in that way. So I, it, it isn't just about women, it's, it's about uh, diversity, inclusion, 
and the kind of innovation, creativity, and possibilities that that creates. So in that, I'm, I'm profoundly honored and uh, hope that I have an opportunity to inspire uh, inspire young people of all, of all types who, uh, who want to chase their dreams. So thank you very, very much. So thank you. For the award uh, to Dr. Liz, the award bestowed upon her is the EEF Modern Healthcare Global Women Leadership Award 2021. Now, let me uh, tell you a little bit to briefly about Dr. Liz. She is a multi-award winner and globally recognized health advisor and mentor to CEOs, executives, and boards internationally. Sits sits on uh, three international advisory boards. She is a lead judge in the annual European Healthcare Design Awards and is a visiting professor at the Ukrainian Catholic University in Ukraine. Dr. Liz's career as a CEO spans diverse areas of healthcare in the public, private, and not-for-profit profit sectors and in, in institutional banking. Dr. Liz has demonstrated leadership role in healthcare advisory and strategy in government sector and private sector as well, and also in the global knowledge exchange. So the EF Modern Healthcare recognizes her excellent contribution and leadership role in the healthcare sector and confers her the EF Modern Healthcare Global Women Leadership Award 2021. Dr. Liz, very, very congratulations. I feel extremely humbled by getting the award. Um, and I actually want to dedicate the award to everyone who organised this conference today, because everyone who organised it recognised that not only the pandemic, but global health is a wellness issue that covers all sectors. And it is an, health is an ecosystem. And this, these conference organisers, they recognise this. So I'd like to dedicate this award to them. So thank you, um, Dr. Anil. Um, thank you very much. And I dedicate the award on your behalf as well. Congratulations, uh, ma'am.